This is also, this is for the local news. Like I said in the last video, or do this one. Our local news is failing to understand why they're losing people watching them. First hand, this is a side note. I do, um, about the reporters, which is also the huge reason I don't watch it. They do not hire local reporters. And they fire local reporters. One I know for a fact, um, because she's, uh, my guys, my sister's godmother's daughter. She was betrayed by a local news NBC, and I did not like it. <laughs> um, so I started watching that channel. After I started watching WVOR because I thought they were reporting on news. Yeah, they started doing real news after they fired a few people. Um, but that's adding on to the other reasons why I start watching local news. Um, Ram does a really good job reporting on real things which are happening in my city, like crime and incidents. But the other news I start watching because they do international news, local news. I watch local news for local news. So it's like, why bother watch local news if it's worldly national news too? So um, that's why I started watching WAC and WVOR because of lack of local news. Um, I don't have a spectrum, so I don't watch spectrum news because I don't have spectrum. They do a pretty good job. Um, they do a good job about not lying about sports either, like Ram. That's the reason why I start watching Ram. Um, one, the sport, the women's sports income, obviously, kind of, the sports, I think they hired her because they wanted women to be sports. Um, WHEM Wax reporter, I was turned off by her. She didn't seem like she knew what she was talking about when she talked about bills. Um, so I stopped watching sports altogether. Um, I watched Ram because I watched Ram news. But this woman. Like I said, did not know what she was talking about. First, she was talking about the Buffalo Sabres and how she was saying, um, Alex Nellander, this, is, this year was her first year of playing for the Sabres, but <laughs> she failed to be, no, he played three games with the Sabres last year with the fire to help them get in the um, playoffs. I don't know why, because they were out of the playoffs last year and this year. I almost made the playoffs. Anyway, about the Bills, I forgot about the lies about the Bills. Um, but all I can say is I stopped watching her because she was lying. And I was watching the um, sports chaos um, after the news on Sundays and how Mike Can Catalano said um, he's the only one who was actually positive about the Bells and Sabres. <laughs> no. No one in the city. DNC and a local channels and Spectrum, like I said, pretty good at being positive about Bells and the sports. But a local sports, ugh. negative, 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 and they only cover local sports too. I'll, I can understand high schools and colleges because of parents, but our local colleges 
Not a lot of local people play for local colleges. So it's kind of a turn off. But that's all they talk about the high school, colleges, and local sports events, and local um, teams. Not even our soccer teams. They don't even cover our soccer teams, which annoys me like hell because I love soccer. Um, but what also turned me off was how they did not cover Tour de France or the tennis slams. They covered us golf slams, majors, but they won't cover the tennis majors and Tour de France. Yeah. No thanks. I'm way turned off on local news because of the lack of local news and all they cover is local sports. And on um, our news cast they don't even talk about news anymore. They talk about um, DIY projects people might do. They talk about um, events might be going on. But they, well, like I said, the only one who talks about crime and what's going on, serious news in this um, city. But they also just talk about nonsense news like the other channels. So, um, WAC, WAM, and WBR, but I have a local real news. If you really want us to come back to watching your news, else you're going to lose your jobs. And DNC, Democrat and Pentacle, our newspaper, last couple of weeks turned me off because um, they covered um, things that, which were private ties, like private parks private cabins, well, in conservative areas. Democrat Chronicle, why do you think they were privately known? They want to keep the specialty reasons why they were private. They do not want city people to go to the cabins and the parks and destroy the family-oriented mall situation it is. They don't want liberals or Black Lives Matter in these movements, which I just threw this one. Um, they don't want to cover. They want them to stay private and morally and family based. So keep your mouth shut about these private things. And also, they also have liberals who stop me from reading the papers to like Erica Bryant, who, um, but turned me off about him. She was supposed to be an education news reporter for DNC. Some of her articles were not covering education in our schools. Like last year, she wrote about how grass sales and church sales were having trash at foot um, selling things. And she had like prescription bottles, tops, and things. Erica, some people's trash are peop other people's treasures. So don't trash us because we like trash. And also, um, she, she turned into being an activist writer now, too. And I haven't seen her articles lately. So maybe um, she got fired, finally. Let's hope she's been fired. And now um, they have a writer um, from Pittsburgh who writes about what happened to so and so. These things were liberal funded, I think. Um, these things were liberal 
things like um, we have community centers now. I can understand that um, for city folk in the city. I may not support them. I may not want to pay for it, but they have um, like safe places for kids where um, they're not getting it at home. And also for a course week, when we have 90 degree water days, they have water pups. So I'm kind of a fan of it. This is why I'm for it, but I will not pay for it. <laughs> um, but this guy was asking about what happened to a mobile situation where they had pool. And the city paid for it, I think. And then, of course, he worried about the Hotel Cadillac being closing. And he was saying it's housing for disadvantaged people. No, it wasn't. I, believe, I heard many, many times when I was a kid and when I was living, living in the city, prostitution was going on at Hotel Cadillac. Cadillac. It wasn't for disadvantage, it's for prostitution. So, watch Australians who think the local news is coming what's really important for us. Open your eyes and realize it's not real news. It's not really important to watch Australians and local areas. They're covering things which people don't want to be covered. They want to see real news like crimes or what's going on with our schools, um, other things. N nothing like they're reporting now. This is why news stations and newspapers are losing their jobs. They're not covering real news.